Hi, it's Nikki Howard here with Into Art of Expression. For those of you who have never watched a video or read about Into Art of Expression, Into Art of Expression is something that I created myself and it's a journey back to you, to your soul, through the use of intuitive painting and essential oils. And it's a very uh, specific method in a certain way, in the fact that we use layering. So we, we paint one layer, we dry it, we paint another layer, we dry it, etc. And each layer is treated as a separate canvas. And when we get beyond three or four layers, the brain suddenly lets go of any control, of any desire of wanting to get it right, because it realises that painting over, it's going to get painted over, so what it has painted will not be seen anymore. And so it begins to say, okay, well, I can just let go then, and let's just see what happens. And that is where the magic really happens after about three or four layers. And when we look at um, intuitive painting, when we do the process, it's almost like reading oracle cards, that we read into it what we, what we feel, what our our soul is really trying to tell us and it can reveal a lot it can reveal where we're blocking it can reveal our fears it can feel reveal you know happiness and joy and where things are going right it's just for me it's almost like an oracle card in the painting and the essential oils are there to really help release the emotions as well as interpret the emotions as well because the oils that I use are doTERRA essential oils, and these are high vibrational oils. Um, and that means that because of their vibration, they're able to tap into the, the spiritual and emotional realms. Whereas the normal everyday essential oils that you can find on the hard street in the pharmacy, their vibration is lower. And that means that they only really tap into the physical. So they're extremely good for, for treating physical symptoms. But if you want to be working in the spiritual and emotional realms, you'd really need essential oils with a higher vibration. So we're going to um, stop the talking. Well, as an introduction, I should be talking through the method and anything that comes up. So here we have a blank piece of paper. I have my oils set up over here. And you can just see at the corner, which is my camera, I have a load of paints as well and my water. And of course, I also have a hairdryer at hand for drying the oils. So all I'm going to do is just choose a colour that inspires me, or that just jumps out at me really, a pink, and I'm going for a green. Interesting. So it... Even at this level, there's no prior thought of, do these colours go together? This is not um, an art class. It's just going with what your body is telling you to paint. And the orange has also jumped out. So this is quite colourful already. So if I just bring, if I just swap this over for a minute, and then you can see. So they're the three colours that I've done. Um, I'm not going to use essential oils immediately. I'm going to go without the oils in the first layer. Just because, um, for me, the first layer is really about connecting to the paper. It's less about what's really coming through, although it can be. So I'm just going to wet my brush. But it's really about connecting as if, like, you're meeting a friend. It's that first instance where you're just basically saying hello and telling your soul that it's time. And again, this isn't about art, so it's not about painting something. This is, this is about the journey and not the destination. It's just painting whatever you feel. Now, when you're doing this at home, between each layer, um, you can take pictures of each layer 
and then journal about it, what's coming up. So for me already, ah, interesting. <laughs> um, financial blocks, this E for my kind of reminds me of like the Euro. That's what's coming to mind. And it's like the blocks behind it, putting up, putting up blocks. There's definitely a block there. And because it's quite colourful, it's also about the freedom. And you see how this is, it's like with Oracle cards, it's looking at the image and thinking, what's, what's this telling me? And for me, this is telling me that, that there's joy, there's a, the green and the, the orange and the purple, but it's all behind bars. And this E is almost like the Euro. So it's kind of like that financial abundance, um, which is something I'm working on at the minute, um, feels unobtainable. It feels like it behind these bars. So I'm just going to dry this. And then we're going to go on to the second layer. Now I feel like keeping the colours I've just had, but I'm also going to add in the blue. And the way I'm choosing it, it's just like my eyes will suddenly fix on a colour. And now I'm going to choose an oil whoops so I'm just closing my eyes and I'm going to choose one I'm going to yeah just one and this one is Ilangilang now off the top of my head I know that Ilangilang is all about the inner child the fun the fun part and I'm gonna add this to the blue so I'm just adding one drop of essential oil into the blue painting and then when I've done the painting I will then look at the oils and see what's coming through I'm going to use a fan brush See the beauty of this as well, you're getting the smells coming through as you're painting. And what a wonderful sensory experience with the colour. And for those I know I'd like to, often in the later part of the painting, I start painting with my fingers. So it's very, very um, based on the senses, very much based on the senses. You can do this with music, although... I often find when I do it with music, I'm too influenced. I'm not there with my thoughts. I'm not there just going with my feeling. I'm going, you know, it tends to influence me too much. Now, you, you may not get feelings straight the way, or you may not get messages straight the way. This is why it's good to take pictures and then to come back and and have a look later on. Sometimes you can read more into it at a later date. Things don't always make sense until the end. We can go back and think, oh yeah, now I know what that was about. It just feels very much like flames. And again, I'm going to dry. What I also like to do as well is to take the oil, just put a drop 
in the palm of the hand and rub it together and then breathe it in. And sometimes already breathing in the oil can already start to bring the emotions in. You get it obviously get it through the painting, but when you breathe it in through your hands, you're really taking in that oil and you can just spend a few moments connecting to that oil and ask it what it's what it's what it's coming coming through. Now what what's coming through for me as well is is about that you know with the when we saw this year that the finance is that it's I need to bring joy back into it, not striving, you know, to, to break down the bars, but also to allow the, the joy to come through those bars, allow it to come through to me rather than me going for it in that way. Right, I'm going to add in some yellow. And again, I'm going to choose an oil with my eyes closed. Siberian fur. So the reason why we choose with our eyes closed or we just go with our intuition is that it's not about choosing an oil to match what we're feeling. Again, because these, these oils are high vibrational, they're very intuitive. So they, they connect to our energy field and you don't even need to know what oil you're choosing. Um, especially when you do it with your eyes closed, you're not going to be able to and it will bring up emotions sometimes that you hadn't even realized that were there and it's extremely powerful so i've just added a siberian fur to the yellow and now i really want to go i have a feeling siberian fur is about generational issues but i will have a look at the end If any of you see anything in this painting, please do put, you know, your thoughts in the comments of, of what you see or what you feel from the painting. There is no right or wrong. It's all just interpretation as it is with, with oracle cards, really. There is no prior thought to what um, I'm wanting to paint. Sometimes it, the idea just comes in just before I do it. Again. I'm going to dry this. I'm actually going to turn it upside down just to see if there's anything coming through from that. And you, you can get in the first few layers this little voice come up thinking I've got no idea what this is about I can't see anything in it it's completely normal, it's your, just your brain just scared to, to, to let go 
so it's totally normal even I get it as well and right now I'm thinking what the heck is this <laughs> but that's just the way so I'm also going to choose lilac now and also the red is jumping out at me and again an oil purify interesting so I'm adding a drop of purify into the red and into the purple I'm taking my bigger brush now Just dropping it in the water to wet it first You see how each layer is, is unconnected. They're just separate entities on, them, on their own. Oh, what, what I've just realised is that I'm using the colours from all of the chakras. If I just show you... So we have the red for the root chakra, we have the orange for the sacral, the yellow for the solar plexus, the green for the heart, the blue for the throat chakra and the violet for the, the pink, purple for the, the crown. And that was totally unintentional, it's just dawned on me thinking, oh my god. So it... And I'm also getting um, quite a, I've actually got emotions to come up right now. I've got tears and I've also got um, almost like a constriction in my solar plexus. And a lot of tears really just on the surface. So interesting. This actually feels really powerful right now. And you, you just see how things just... Just take control that there's no intention behind this. Things just happen. Oh. I'm actually going to put a drop of that Purify into my hand so this feels kind of feels like it's purifying all the energy so I haven't done the Siberian first I'm also going to drop a drop of that in my hand and as I say I'm going to warm them up together and then I'm going to breathe them in Interesting, it's like the um, I had a vision then of like a Siberian fir, of a fir tree losing all its its pine needles. So that's not normal for a pine cone, for a pine. So that kind of feels like it's releasing something. I'm just going to get my emotion book about my essential oils. I'll be back in one moment. In the meantime, just have a look at the painting and just see what you feel from it. So I just have my essential emotions book and I just want to quickly look up, not to go into too much detail, but just to see Siberian fur, yes, aging and perspective. Siberian fur addresses generational healing from the perspective of the mature. It assists during the twilight years as the individual transition into a more full mature awareness. This period in one's life cycle can be beset with losses of many kinds. Siberian fur offers comfort and support during periods of grief, regret and longing. It aids in the necessary healing and reconciliation process for life full of mixed experiences. Siberian fur encourages an honest and gentle approach to assessing one's life choices, influence and legacy. Upon reflection, all people will find moments of regret and moments of they cherish. Siberian fur teaches that without the winds of opposition, individuals would never have gained the wisdom and strength they now possess. It also reminds that forgiveness 
both needing to forgive and needing to be forgiven is integral to development. Siberian fur helps to ease difficult transitions by encouraging individuals to focus on finding meaning and purpose within each new chapter. As they progress through the life, individuals may need to realign their hopes and aspirations to the realities of the present moment. Siberian fur offers its steady energy through periods of change and adjustment, reminding individuals to look for the good and remember that they are inherently valuable and needed. The best gift that can be given to the next generation is sharing a heart at peace. Very interesting. Just looking at this, it almost looks like, huh, and it looks like a fir tree. <laughs> wow. Yes, I shall um, see what comes up in further layers. Um, I'm just going to dry this one. I actually like to to um, draw the paint through as I'm drying one so it dries easier but also it can reveal something else underneath as well as it giving texture <clears throat> to the final picture which is something that I really do like is to have texture and depth within it <clears throat> um, yes yeah, something else was coming through then I can't remember what it was but it's gone <laughs> never mind so I've chosen the orange <clears throat> And it's like these skinny buttercup colour, not buttercup, very, very pale. And another oil. Yes, that was what I was going to say. Um, lime is the next one. Um, we don't always know how it all fits together. And it's kind of like in life as well that... We don't know why something happens, but it's only when we get to the end that we realise why that happened and how it all fits in. And so you may not understand immediately what's going on. You just see that part of it. But when you see the whole bigger picture, it's that's when you really begin to understand the journey. So again, I've added lime into the mix. And just breathing that in. And I'm adding lime, a drop of lime just to the white. I don't really want to sit for the orange for some reason, but hey ho. And then I'm actually going to use a palette. I don't know if this, this very much feels like two <coughs> Almost two paintings, top and bottom. So this isn't about painting a pretty picture. It's just about, you know, making it look perfect. It's just... I'm adding another colour in this one has jumped out at me as well. So 
changing brush. It's really not about it's not it's about not thinking what you were drawing, what you are. painting I have no idea where this is going right now but that's okay Some layers I found that can just be about releasing emotion. It doesn't have to be about anything else but that um, pink is coming through. And it's sometimes when I get to zones like this, I think, what, what is this? But it's also just because um, my body's just needing to do it, and that is it. And we have bergamot mint, which I'm adding into the pink. I'm also going to choose another colour. There's green. Hmm. Lots of heart chakra going on in there. I've got more tears coming up right now. So there's there's definitely some release going on. Obviously this is hard of me to do on camera because I'm not fully present. I'm also here with you as well. So I don't get fully into the into the feeling and some yellow. And when you do your painting, do it on paper, not on canvas, because this isn't about something you're going to put on the wall. You can burn it, you can put it away, you can fold it up, you can cut it, you know, and that's that's why it's just so lovely doing it on paper. It takes you into a different mindset than on the canvas.
what also just came up then was like I was almost staring down through the heart chakra, um, staring into the solar plexus, like really looking down on top and going within. And now I'm going to top it up with a grey and a bronzy colour. I feel like it's actually coming to a close. I'm going to add one more oil. Air. Yeah. Time to breathe. Still feeling a lot of emotion coming up. Now you will know when it's the end of the painting, you'll probably feel emotionally done and emptied. Um, your painting may just feel complete, that you just don't need anything more to, to get out there. But always take it beyond three or four layers so you're really allowing emotions to, to come through. And a bit of turquoise coming on. It always seems to appear in my paint in my, my work. I can, if you want, also do a small meditation, but to, before you do a painting, you can set an intention for what you want to to work on. And I feel that that is, is <clears throat> now finished. Um, so what is good is to go back and have a look at, at the, the oils that were used <clears throat> and to say, you know, if you've taken photographs and then you can journal your way through the painting. So I'm not going to read all the text of all the oils, but I'm just going to give you a summary of, of each. So we had lime, which is a zest for life. 
which works on the, the feelings of apathetic and resigned, grieving, loss of will to live and discouraged. Um, it brings people back into the heart and clears congestion for the heart. Now, what is interesting is also the, the, um, the air um, oil that I used, because that is also about uh, bringing, bringing air. <laughs> I should probably only breathe. Um, supports one relationship with spirit, deepens one connection to life, um, to breathe out and to receive, to breathe in. Sad, grieving, again, despairing. Um, I should put all these in the in the text as well uh, under under the video. Uh, bergamot and mint. Revived heart. Is all, this is all coming through for the heart chakra. Bergamot mint encourages individuals to con consciously consider if they're welcome in their own heart. It invites them to come home to themselves and to be inspired from within. We did survey refer, purify. Purification. Um, releasing toxic emotions, entering a cleansing state, which is quite <laughs> completely normal in in the painting. Um, in order to heal, one must receive. But in order to receive, one must first release what is um, blocking the new clean energy from entering. So this kind of really feels to me, it's clearing out the old to start anew. Um, that the line hit with the dividing before we, we had I said it felt like two pictures there was above and below and it really feels like letting go of how things were even of, of old beliefs or the old ways of thinking and bringing in that there's to me there's there's um this line is a transition into to a new way of being and clearing out that this this old energy with purify so that we can really fully come into the heart um and it's interesting with the colours of the chakras, the heart is right in the centre of the, the lower chakras and the higher centres, the higher chakras, so it's creating a real harmony. And the Siberian fur is letting go of those, um, of the old way of being that transition. And to me, it's also the transition from, from yeah, from the old way of being to the new way of being. So, there you go. Um, I would love... For you to have a go at home and try this you can hop over to my group uh, on facebook which is intuitive expression um and i look forward to, to hearing you know any comments as well please put down anything you felt about this and i look forward to hearing from you thank you very much